Okay, here we are. Yaakov's hummus house. And what are we making today, Mr. Yaakov hummus? <laughs> hummus. 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 Hummus is what you buy at the supermarket. This is hummus. Okay. So, two cans of 400 gram chickpeas, pre-soaked. Little pack and save version. And I open those up and I leave about a quarter of the water from each can in the can. That's really important because otherwise the consistency will be wrong. <laughs> Get the last bean. You're a bean. You're a bean. Get it. Shush, you thing. <laughs> It's a love language. <laughs> and so we have, what's this? That's uh, tahini. And if we eat, it's trina. And this is a special tahini. This is from Israel. The hummus, the hummus, won't taste as good <laughs> unless you use Israeli trina. Oh, but we'll do that next. First we do the oil, half a cup. Of what kind of oil? Olive oil. That's the only kind of oil there is. Olive oil. <laughs> oil. What are you doing? Half a cup of cleaner. You so just stir that? The same. Yeah, that came up quite well once the oil is first, eh? No, it, what do you mean you have to stir it? We're putting it no, in a I'm blender. No, I'm in here, in here. And sometimes you have to stir that, right? Because it gets all gluggy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to stir. In. Sometimes you have to get the thick cleaner from the bottom and stir it into the oil. Half a cup, half a cup. Okay, and then I need to find a little spatula thing. Just to get out what's in the the remnant oil and tahini in there. And then you need two tablespoons of lemon juice. So you need real lemons or... Real lemon juice if you want, or you can buy it like this from the supermarket. So if you just use a lemon, how much lemons do you use? Uh, I usually use just one whole, the juice from one whole lemon. And then you need a tablespoon of salt, but this is a half tablespoon, so I'm doing two. Oh, very good. You got a bit on the top. There. Not tablespoon, it's teaspoon. Teaspoon of salt. <laughs> this is a half teaspoon times two. So don't do tablespoon, that'll be too <laughs> salty. I do three cloves of garlic because I like mine to have a nice garlicky twang to it. Yeah, I'm not as keen on as many garlics when I do. Ah, uh, yeah, you are because when you taste mine, you go, oh, that's awesome, it's better than mine. I know, but when I'm doing my own, I just do two. Yeah, but that's because it Why doesn't... do you chop it up when you're going to put it in a blender? Yours doesn't taste good with only two garlics. Yes, it does. If you want Yaakov's hummus, you have three garlics. <laughs> I just like chopping up garlic. I You probably could put the garlic in whole, I don't know. Don't your fingers get all garlic? Maybe in? doing it this way, it disperses the garlic better because people have said, I try to do it the same as you, but it doesn't come out the same. So maybe my little funny things I do actually make a difference. It's made with love. Um, why don't you use the crusher that we have? Because um, a crushed reed he will not break and a dying flame he will not put out. <laughs> That's from Yeshayahu the prophet. So we have had many people say that yours is Yaakov's uh, life-saving hummus. So yeah, you my good Israeli boys who I love so much. They like Put my the hummus. There. What? Put the technique there. Is it a technique or is it just that I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> okay, then put that in obviously. So let's just do a check because if you're like me, I like get to this stage and I say, well, I might have forgotten something. So I got the chickpeas, two cans, quarter of a can of the water from each one is in there half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of tahini, and it has to be Israeli cleaner. Yeah, yeah, Otherwise yeah, it won't yeah. taste good. Alrighty. 
One teaspoon of salt, three cloves of garlic chopped up, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. That's the recipe. Then you blend it, and that's it. You blend it. Way through the blending I like to just make sure it's off the sides and it's just a thing I do maybe that makes it taste better too I just don't know maybe as I'm breathing you only did the top part maybe some of my breath is going into it and making it taste better I don't know oh, maybe, it's smelly. It's, <laughs> maybe it's the, the ruach from my breath that <laughs> So do you want me to plate it up and show you how to do that? Or? Sure. <laughs> so um, what I'm doing when I plate it up, I'm going to take some kusbara or uh, coriander, cilantro, whatever you call it, and I'm going to chop that up for the garnish on the top. And then I scoop some of it into here. And then we need to get some more olive oil. So we got that, like that. Mmm. Yum. So what else could you add to this if you want to make it fancy? Um, some people like to put some paprika on the top, but... No, I mean actually in the hummus. So what, what I do is um, sometimes I saute some garlic and a bit of onion and a bit of mushrooms and saute them until they're caramelly and then I put that onto the middle in the top before I put in the olive oil or you can do vegetables sauteed or so like can, pumpkin or yeah, roasted sure. peppers or uh, depends on what can you like. So this is just a really good base for lots. I just, yeah, but I just like it like this plain. Do you like our big olive oil? It's massive. Mm, fancy. Uh, see, if you're going to put the olive oil in, don't pour it straight in from a big bottle like this because it puts a dent in the, you need to put it in like that. See how I did that? Yep. Wow. Huh? And then you put your garnish on the top. And you're ready to go. And then you get your carrot sticks or your crackers or anything you want. And you mm, eat it. Yum. Delish. <laughs>